Okay, this is going to be a significant figures tutorial just because I know you guys always struggle with sig figs. So if you look at this line right here, and if I measured it, it's somewhere between 10 centimeters and 11 centimeters, where that 0.3 right here is a guesstimation. So it's, I know this line is somewhere between 10 and 11 centimeters. It's closer to 10 than 11. It's not necessarily half, so I'm going to call it 10.3 centimeters. So this last number right here is always my guesstimated digit. So the certain digits and the first uncertain digit of the measurement are your sig figs. Okay. Rule number one. Numbers other than zero are significant. Obviously, there's no zeros here, so every single one of these digits is significant. This has five sig figs. So when are zeros significant? Anytime you have zeros that are sandwiched in between sig figs, they are significant. So this has one, two, three, four, five sig figs. Zeros at the end after a decimal are significant. That's saying that I measured it right here, this one in particular, I'm going to guesstimate at zero. So these are significant. So one, two, three, four, this is sandwiched, five, six. Zeros that are only used to place the decimal. These three zeros right here are just telling me that the decimal goes right there. These four zeros right here are simply telling me that the decimal goes right here. Yes, these are zeros after the decimal, but they're not at the end after a decimal. So therefore, they're not significant. So both of these numbers have one sig fig. Okay, so adding and subtracting in this class, it has nothing to do with sig figs, but what you do is you go by the number, the lowest number of numbers after the decimal. This right here has one number after the decimal, this has two. So then your answer can only have one number after the decimal, 27.5. Okay? For example, if I had $10,000, somebody gives me a penny, and then somebody asks me how much money you have, I'm not going to say $10,000.01. I'm just going to say $10,000. And then finally, when you get to multiplying and dividing, it always goes by the smallest number of sig figs. This has three sig figs, this has two sig figs, so your answer can only have two sig figs.